In this video, we're going to consider one of the simplest models of game theory, extensive form games. Elliot and I play a lot of video games together. We play Madden Online all the time, and we want to buy a next-gen games console. We both prefer the PS4, so much so that if you asked either of us what the other is likely to buy, we'd say there's a 90% chance that the other is going to buy a PS4. Here we represent this situation. Elliot can buy the Xbox or the PS4, and here there's a 90% chance that I will buy the PS4. This is just a random event where Elliot has to try and estimate what is his best action based on the random event that I will buy a PS4. Now, this is where game theory comes in, because this is not actually a random event. I am an interactive decision maker making the same decision that Elliot is. We just happen to have represented this with me with this random event coming after Elliot has made his decision. The type of game that we're going to describe here is called an extensive form game. And what that needs is a finite set of n players, so in this is instance n is 2, and the players are Elliot and myself, a rooted tree, that's the picture you've just seen, and an n tuple of payoffs, so how happy uh, each leaf of the tree makes us. And here you go. Note, I've redrawn the tree, showing there's no difference between this node and this node as far as what it is. So that's just a decision needs to be made. And here we have utilities at the end. So if we both go for PS4s, we both get a utility of one. We're very happy. If we go for PS, if Elliot goes for PS4 and myself an Xbox, Elliot's slightly happy. Gets 0.1. I I get nothing. If Elliot goes for an Xbox and I go for PS4, we both get nothing. That's just random random numbers. But these numbers are basically smaller than that. If we both go for an Xbox, at least we can play Madden together online, so we're slightly happy. Where things get slightly complicated, though, is that these two nodes, in reality, would not necessarily be any different to each other. So if Elliot um, went off to buy his video games console, and I went off to buy my video games console at the same time, and we didn't actually communicate, how would I know what he has bought? And so what we have here is that these two nodes live in the same information set. And how we handle these types of games is uh, what we will look at later on.